once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hope to find peace. too easy. Look. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. <laughs> Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. Not your usual shooting range, right? Not your usual shooting range, right? How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure, look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. Okay. Let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. How about that one? I can do it with the small rods, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try.
Whoa! Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. Ready? <gasps> Sean! You suck! I said don't hit me, jerk! Sorry, I, I thought you would stop it. Serious. <gasps> yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean! I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you... You're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. It's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. Finding that house was a miracle. But I'm afraid we can't stay here much. We really suck at this trap thing. Mushroom found a deer. So cool. Oh, come on! Not again! We gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. Hey, it's been a while since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. Yeah. Look, Daniel! I think I saw that rabbit from the other day. It's trying to get home. Ooh! I wanna see the bunny! <laughs> oh, dude, your face. Sean, you suck. <laughs> Come on, Daniel. I was just kidding around. Uh, Sean? The family that lived here, what do you think happened to them? They must have moved out. Maybe to another state. But they left all their stuff behind? I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every ten years. Maybe they got tired. We really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Yeah, they're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. 
Right, puppy? You can't really name birds, right? Probably the name of a child who used to live here. Oh! Almost forgot to check our traps today. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. Ooh, cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. Dude, that cuff doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh. It's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Uh, uh, Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know... Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I... I'd used it before. Dad might still be here. Daniel, it's my fault. I shouldn't have let you alone outside. But I didn't help. I didn't do anything. Because... You couldn't. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. <sighs> she must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah before she eats us. <laughs> Tanya must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but... Help, yep. No more indoor training sessions. Three, two. Pro one. tip always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. Um, okay. 
It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but we need the warmth. <sighs> no more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. I can't believe how much Daniel's powers have it. <sighs> Shit, where did I put my lighter? Ready for today's training, puppy? <laughs> sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom, sit, girl. Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. <sighs> I'll remember this, traitor. This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Time to get warm. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. <gasps> Dang, I am starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much, it hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. Mm. It's okay to think about Tough it. Tough choice. I do it too. Okay. <coughs> Thanks, Sean. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. Hey. What are you cooking? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. <sighs> so tired of eating the same shit. <sighs> I just want one slice of pizza. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli or ravioli? Okay, okay. <sighs> Never eating this again. This thing is strong as a rock. Published before you were even born, Sean. <laughs> Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, you really did so? Well, that'd be a bad idea, but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Mmm, I think we'd know it by now. Once you get used to squatting, eh, it's not so bad. That marsh burger totally looks like mushroom. This thing <laughs> is strong as a rock. Hi, 
How's you doing, Mushroom? You're the best puppy in the world. I'm just glad we found you. <laughs> Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. <laughs> Daniel needs a doggo friend. High school feels so far away now. Kind of weird to use stranger stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. I'm so tired of eating the same shit. I just these were all I found when I hit the town last week. Tanya must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him. <laughs> Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without heat. No more batteries. Thank God. Yep. No more indoor training sessions. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Too risky. Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. Daniel needs a doggo friend. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Hmm, pretty good, but I can add more details if I want. 
Time to take the pen, dude. Can't do anything without looking up first. Come on, girl. Let's get back in. <sighs> okay, dinner's ready. Getting sick of ravioli. That was spaghetti a la dies. <laughs> Didn't you taste the famous truffle sauce? Yep. Plus, I love the garlic bread and ice cream. Yum. Ooh, you want some too, huh, mushroom? Bon appetit, Mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I'm cool. <sighs> Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. I gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? I don't know. I'm not keeping track of your things. Okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom, come here, girl. What a great team. Time to play dad, dog. What the? When did he show up? I don't know. I... Mother f Daniel? <laughs> Got you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job. Okay. 
I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look, here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they don't like me? They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen... For what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and... I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a team of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, pussy. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Sheesh. I need a ship. Give me a six. Yes, full ship. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain. I have a crew now. Here comes the loot. High score. <sighs> Better than nothing. Oh, I'm a sucky pirate. <sighs> the dice are yours. Oh, you see this? Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Good job. I need the score now. Pretty please. Score! Watch out, Sean! <laughs> I'm so scared. Ah, pretty good. My turn now. Be ready to lose. Sheesh. I need a ship. Give me a six. Still incomplete? Sounds what the like hell? a no score. I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Huh. Boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? <laughs> you mean, we beat Dad. Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. <sighs> Definitely. He was a great pirate. <laughs> Just like us. Captain Diaz, King of the Seas. And I 
win. Do you know what it means? <sighs> yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Mmm, let's see. Finished. A poop? Really? Yeah, it suits you. Well, thank you very much. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. It smells like ass. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. <sighs> all right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude. Thank you.
Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Hey, cool down. It's gonna be okay. I know, but... What did you pack in? What the f... <sighs> Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. What the fuck happened here? <sighs> That's not good. I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it.
I'm right here. It's all right. Here, you should do it. That's it. It's bullshit. We can't even bury her. Well. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven with Dad? <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. About his allergies. Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. We didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> Don't protect the next runaways that stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long.
<clears throat> we made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or... something? We'll figure out something. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Steven, watch your mouth. Well, it's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Oh, Stephen. What are we going to do? I... I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should call Gus. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Do we really want to involve other people? officer was killed. Claire, you know? Our grandchildren are wanted by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. And we'll figure something out. It's good to be inside. All right, Stephen. Finally. I just hope they let us stay the night. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as... Suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station? Now, if you want us to help you, did you... 
hurt that police officer in Seattle? I don't know. I swear I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but all I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, uh, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So, what are your plans? <sighs> Go down to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him, but you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's... really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise are no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Oh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, <laughs> you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. So are we ready to pray? 
Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean? Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.
I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. It's been locked ever since we got here. And I kind of don't give a fuck. <sighs> fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. <sighs> I can't believe they fixed it. And kept it. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. Look who's awake.
Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandma showed me a pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. going on back there? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. <sighs> I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway. You have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? 
Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanny will freak. Thank you. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. I heard... Oh, that's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Did you love it? Well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Steven could have stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was... Like a mini pin. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to cool. see you practice. I think I'm ready to draw so this. Passionate. I need to observe more before I can actually draw. <sighs> Time to take the pen, dude. Weave kindness into your daily narrative. Beautiful. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. <sighs> okay, got it. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Gee, I could never do that. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. I better catch up with Steven and get the... Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've, uh, 
noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? how to put it, like some kind of invisible force, like the holy gift or something. Um, yeah, Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... <sighs> Why not? I know being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... This is your home now. It's cool. Kinda different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids. Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see... Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey, I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass! See you tonight, buddy. I get that he's sick of all this shit, but... Why are we playing this game? Yeah, very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. 
Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. All right, let's get it over with. All right, time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. How many programs does this thing have? Okay, it will do. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Whoa, look at all these decorations. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Haha, <laughs> yes. Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look! Yeah, uh, we did. Uh, it looks like you're okay, though. You were almost floating. I, I was, I was. I could feel myself in the air. It, it was awesome. That T-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. So cool. I've got the Chibi Power Bear. The talking one. No, no one can, one can defeat, defeat just it. <laughs> Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. 
They're our grandparents. Uh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I... Uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh... If Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? No, you... You did the right thing. But listen, we can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel... Remember that we're hiding out, so no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? Fuck. That kitten never listens. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Jeez, Steven went search crazy on us. These articles are almost a month old. What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Oh, right. Sunday morning. Well, Brody. If we ever make it home, wherever that is, you'll be much, much welcome. Well, this article is much less creepy than it seemed back then. Holy shit. Who are these assholes? That's some fucked up hate speech. Wow. Lila seems to be having a hard time. Never seen her this salty. I should really call Lila to check on her.
Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Okay, let's get this Brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Daniel, what's going on here? Sean, wait, don't freak out. Uh, I can't explain. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm gonna be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? Um, how about if I'm like the mentor? Like Professor D or something? Uh, yeah. We'll figure out another cool name for you. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations! And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um, okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah! Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh... Give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends. And his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? You sure? Look 
closely. Okay. How did I do? You're not a very good observer. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Mar T Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No. He didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. <laughs> I bet. There's no stopping him from building things. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. Well, the flying fortress needs fixing now. Yeah, that sucks. Dad couldn't fix it yesterday. He was not feeling well. He told me he'll do it when we're back from the market. Um, Chris, it's none of my business, but did something happen between you and your dad yesterday? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire's always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris. I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But... You'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. Ah, cool. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez.
Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything, but don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Many trees. Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, <laughs> but we never surrendered. Behold, the giant condom machine. What do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help Dad? <sighs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. <laughs> Whoa. The, <laughs> the guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. Sure. I'm fine for now. I've got all the supplies in my truck, so don't worry. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. This place is nice. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. What are you drawing? Whoa! It's so cool! Are you like a professional? <laughs> no. More like the opposite. You could draw comic books. The awesome adventures of... Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. <laughs> Pretty rad for a Hollywood name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll think about it. Hey, can you add something funny to your drawing? Funny? 
Like what? Uh, I don't know. Something cool. Uh, okay. Big question. Zombies? Or UFO? Hmm. What about... a zombie attack? On Beaver Creek? I hope I can draw like you one day. I'm sure you will, man. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. It's me, it's me, you've come to take my duality wakes from midnight time I could not see if I were you, were you, or me We play the game with scale and so I asked for your demands Give me your love, give me your gun And he traced us back to where we've gone And so the morning came and swept the night away And I was looking for a way Wow, you made it all the way through. Weird. You got a crush on me or something? No, what? Uh, um, no, I... I mean, it, it was pretty cool. I... I just... <laughs> Relax, dude. It's cool that you listened. People are usually too busy to care. <laughs> you have a great voice. Uh, you should be on one of those... Singing shows. That's kind of nice. Not really my thing, though. I hate TV and show business shit. Well, thanks for the music. And good luck. See ya. Hmm. Quiet morning. Okay, better find a Best gift for Christmas Daniel quick, here. while Decorate he's still busy with Chris. With something truly special. Claire and Steven definitely have a kink for Christmas. Pet that like these. Hi everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has special got telekinesis now. Too. Hope you're doing well. We only sell Funny how all products. small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. I miss Dad's Christmas at all.
Did I lock the shop Welcome, yesterday? Welcome, kid. Hit me up hmm. if you want anything. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. <laughs> Things seem kind of heavy between Charles and Chris. I'm glad Daniel made a new friend. He needed this. <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. Did I lock the shop yesterday? Holy shit. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Um, uh, the Reynolds? Everybody knows Stephen. He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his grandson, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, that's great. He told me about you, but um, that was a long time ago. It's been a few years, right? Yeah. Family stuff. I bet. Anyway, uh, look around, and if you find anything you want, I'll give you the special Reynolds discount. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Um, I'd like one of those snowmen things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. And, of course, you get the friendly price to celebrate the Reynolds reunion. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now, before Claire and Steven come back. Feels kind of weird to spend Christmas here with Claire and Steven. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. Just take the goddamn bear already. Jesus. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry. I'm, I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody. Gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. 
No, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man, that sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <sighs> and you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know. But it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> He's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him! You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Oh, geez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty.
Whoa. So cool. The guy who painted. Oh it must have been seriously high. <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, you're jealous because I'm cute. You're lost. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah! But anyway... Got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily... She died two years ago. Obviously... It was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. He's a storyteller. Yeah. He showed up when I was drawing at the market. He gave me some tips. You two seem to get along well. I mean, you really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. 
Uh, want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah. I could do that with a hammer, but let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But... <sighs> How much more Irish can you be? Dude, hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. <sighs> okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? Yeah, not much to see in here. Sean. Clothes. Old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Shit, these are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Whoa, I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key here. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. I saw Grandma coming out the room yesterday. Did you see where she put the key? No. I don't remember. Oh, shit. Well, thanks anyway, Daniel. <sighs> nope. Nothing in here. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. <sighs> oh. 
Okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? We clearly don't share politics, but... At least Steve... I don't really see Steven listening to old-school pop rock music. Yeah, not much to see in here. What was Claire doing in that room? Maybe she put the key in her pocket. What was she wearing yesterday? Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can't. I gotta find a way to open that door, or Daniel's gonna keep ranting about it. Yes. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure they want to forget anything related to Karen. I can relate. It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably. I think it's not plugged. <sighs> Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just. Is that an amethyst? <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. Yeah, you finally left forever. Coward. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. That's how mom used to smell. I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. Why would they remove all the pictures? But here I was. Walking my way down to Mexico. Huh. Because like they made them sad. She almost yeah. never used those. Dad did the same thing too. Never seen anything. I think I remember that one. Home. Karen showed it to me once. You. You Ulysses. Hey Daniel, check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like. The hero? I guess. So cool. Hi, Ulysses. This playlist is boring as hell. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. So, you were a friend of my mommy's? <sighs> I don't I recognize any of these games. Why would Claire lock these up in here?
Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? We were just looking. For answers. And, uh... Was it worth stealing my key? Claire, please. Calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. What's the problem then? If there's nothing to see, why lock us out? Or get mad. It's like you're in denial. I know that mom left us. And yeah, it made me mad. But at least we've moved on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Daniel, now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. 
I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs. Why? Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? He's okay, Yanano. The car barely touched him. Oh, God. I wish I told him the truth like you asked me to. I... I'm sorry, Sean. I shouldn't have lied to you and Chris. It's... Uh, it's okay. I know you meant to do good, but... Uh, don't worry. <sighs> you didn't even let me check on him. What if he is... dead? Y you could see the car slow down before, so... Chris will be fine. Trust me. You... You promise? Promise. Sean.
Shut up. They don't. Come on. I'll show you around. <laughs> 